Hello, my friends. As many of you know, over the past few weeks, the global community has been engaged in a serious conversation about the environment during the United Nations Conference on Climate Change. As such, I wanted to spend a few minutes today discussing airport efforts to protect the environment. Now, in addition to safety and security priorities, airports strive to be good neighbors in the communities they serve. And in this role, airport operators are committed to reducing their carbon footprint and implementing sustainable business practices. Now, during our annual conference in Long Beach last October, I was very proud to recognize the diligent efforts of 10 North American airports to reduce their carbon footprints through the Airport Carbon Accreditation Program. As part of this program, airports commit to reducing their emissions by making investments in heating and lighting efficiency, technology, electric hybrid or gas-powered vehicles, public transport, incentive programs, less corporate travel, and stakeholder engagement. Now, as an ambitious industry, we want to do our part to lower our carbon footprint and become better partners in the global aviation system. Now, Seattle Tacoma was the first North American airport to attain certification more than a year ago when ACINA first joined the program. Since then, Pierre Elliott Trudeau, Portland, Portland Hillsborough, Portland Troutdale, Victoria, Denver, Honolulu, and Toronto Pearson have joined this innovative program. In addition, Dallas-Fort Worth was the first North American airport to achieve level three certification, meaning that the airport is working not only to reduce its own carbon footprint, but also those of its airlines, tenants, and service providers. Now we applaud these airports on these wonderful achievements. Now with 10 airports participating and more coming online in the year ahead, North America's airport industry continues to demand more of itself. That is why the ACINA Environmental Committee has been working to expand its scope through the development of new industry goals and best practices. This committee is working to provide the tools and resources airports need to reduce their greenhouse emissions, minimize noise, enhance land use, manage the icing program, improve local air quality, conserve energy, reduce solid waste, and more efficiently use water. Now a big thank you goes to the ACINA Environmental Committee for their continued leadership in these very, very important areas. Environmental management will be a featured discussion topic at our upcoming Airports at Work conference in Austin, Texas, scheduled for April 19th to the 21st, 2016. Brand new for 2016, the Airports at Work Conference brings together the most complex facets of airports operations, safety, security, environment, information technology, and technical affairs for what is going to be a collaborative discussion about today's challenges and tomorrow's opportunities. And we very much look forward to seeing you in Austin this April.